Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, Ubuntu 15.04 uh, Vivid Vervet and I'm going to be showing you what's new. Um, so the first thing we can see uh, that's new in Ubuntu, uh, some of which I will be able to show you, some of which I won't be, is the web browser. Um, whilst the default here is still for the Firefox web browser, we can search for web and then we do have browser here which is uh, Ubuntu's own um, very own browser which I think over time will actually um, take over uh, instead of using Firefox here when, when it becomes a bit more mature. Um, another thing that's been introduced in Ubuntu 15.04, which I can't show you right now, is um, System D, which is um, which sort of manages the system and services of the computer instead of upstart. Um, whether you like it or not, you're going to have to live with it, because I think moving forward this is where uh, Ubuntu is going to be using uh, for the near future, uh, but it does come with a few handy tool sets, uh, such as System CTL, um, which allows you to basically just call System CTL status and the service you're after, and um, gives you a nice info on on what's available, which you can do um, via terminal um, if you wanted to. Um, the other thing that's obviously been updated, which you can't see, is the uh, Linux kernel. Um, it's not going to be using the latest um, kernel four. Um, but it is using 3.193, uh, which does have better graphic support um, than previous ones. Uh, other things that have been uh, introduced uh, with Ubuntu are Ubuntu Make, and I don't know if it's installed by default, um, which is not, uh, but that's development tools, um, especially for like uh, mobile apps, um, web applications, and games. Um, comes with a full studio. Um, but it's sort of been transformed from Development Center, which you may have uh, known it as before. Um, another thing about Ubuntu 15.04 uh, is um, it's sort of built with a snappy version of Ubuntu. Um, if you're not familiar with this, it's a sort of like a, a light version, um, which sort of keeps the core functionality in mind whilst um, trying to reduce the space that's required um, and really iron out anything that's really un unneeded. Uh, looking back onto the GUI here, if we go into the files, um, the local menus are actually back. So if you flick through here, you can see at the top here we have like home documents, um, which were available in 14, uh, 1404 Ubuntu, um, but previously you had to set them up in settings appearance, uh, but now they are set by default for you. Um, whilst we're on the file here, you'll be able to see um, some more changes here on the left um, about the display, uh, the way it looks here on, on the folders, looking a bit more like um, Mac OS or, or Windows, I hate to say it, but that is uh, the way, way it's going. And another great feature which I really, really love, really useful, is that when you are on one of the folders here, if I just could click into uh, Computer, we can open a folder now um, in Terminal which is really useful. So if you want to open up your terminal, it will go to um, your name, uh, Ubuntu slash lib, which is the folder I right clicked on, uh, which is super useful um, if you are utilizing terminal and you've been browsing through the folders. Um, another thing that we can look at here that I've made down on my notes is the Wi-Fi, which I don't actually have available to me um, on this virtual machine that I've got created at the moment. Uh, Wi-Fi, you can actually now save the password for all users as opposed to just the specific user you're logged into, which is great for home PCs. Um, obviously with the latest version of Ubuntu, you also get um, the latest version of LibreOffice, um, which includes obviously Calculator, Writer, Impress, etc. Um, and Totem and other, other files you're familiar with. So um, that's really a quick overview of uh, Ubuntu 15.04. Um, there's obviously more that I haven't covered, but that's sort of the, the basics. Let me know what you think. Put your comments below. And if you like, please subscribe, and uh, there'll be more. Thanks for watching.